Welcome everybody out there in Facebook or uh, our faith website fam. It is Friday night under the lights. Both teams are going to start with a word of prayer and then we will uh, be getting the game on here. For those of you who don't know, these two teams have already played twice this year. Couldn't tell you the final scores of either one of those games, but I can tell you that uh, MCAC won the first contest, and then uh, Faith uh, won the last time these two teams met. So uh, both know what it's like to win and lose against each other, and it should be a pretty, pretty good game. Faith had a, a good, good showing yesterday. I'm sure that they could still made improvements on certain things, but uh, they they won by 14. So if they win today, they they definitely have a chance to place for first or second in their bracket. So we're hoping for a faith win, of course. Twenty-five over here by Cougar is the uh, MCAC's big threat to us. So we'll see how he plays tonight. Hopefully, Faith can limit him on the damage. Jacob White getting ready to do the tip. Very low throw, goes to MCAC, and we're on our way. And there he is, 25 with the three, started off the game. Cougar will try to match off the heel. Rebound, Jacob White, but they're gonna call foul first. I think they're gonna call that on Jake, his first team first. And a turnover. Jacob will try a mid-range shot. It's good. Jacob with a steal. Got Cougar and Aiden trailing. He's going to take it all the way. Shot comes up short. Aiden with the offensive rebound. Put back. Almost good. He'll get two free throws. Good effort by Aiden Hustle Huddleston. Yes. Uh, I don't know, maybe some contact. That'd be my guess. Sometimes that happens in the Yeah. Chance to tie the game comes off a little bit. And the second one's good. We're tied up at three. We got three officials, so we shouldn't be missing calls. Nice trap by Faith. 
And Aiden gets away on it, but he gets it out for a corner three. That's way overshot, and Ian with the defensive rebound. Nice, nice closeout from Aiden. Aiden open, but not able to be seen in time. Ian will find Jake. Jake looks to drive. I think he got his steps in before the dribble, and they're going to call travel. It's a good place to trap him if they can. They had the out of bounds line and the half court line there where the boy caught the ball. So, but they do get a foul on Aiden, his first team second. MCAC looks to attack middle, looks down low, shot blocked, and off of the Falcons. Nice block, good defense. Darno on the block. I do have Coach White here with me. There's a nice drive, and that's that's the way he attacks. And if he gets through like that, he can be a, a threat to us. So we're gonna try to limit how many times he gets inside like that. I think they called that one on Titus. Yep. And first one's good. He's a good free throw shooter too. So that's the team third foul already. Uh, only one more to not be uh, a foul uh, at the foul line. 4-3, MCAC. Ian looks to drive, he's gonna kick the Cougar. Cougar didn't like what he sees, he'll try to drive, get fouled. Now we have MCAC's first foul, I believe, of the game. Yep. Going to get a kick out three to Cougar. No, he's going to set it back up. Falcons pretty much just operating out of the perimeter. Ian looks to drive. He's not there. He's going to find Jake. He'll try his first three. It's a little deep. Uh, ball comes out to Cougar for the offensive rebound. Let's get a nice second chance opportunity. Jake mid-range, a little deep on that one too. And MCAC with the rebound. And MCAC looks to push it. The drive, shot on its way, no good. Ian with another good defensive rebound. He's gonna get doubled, but he's able to dribble out of it. Looks to drive, he's gonna get fouled before the shot. Yeah. Uh, we must have somebody hurt. Looks like MCAC had to make a quick substitution. Titus sets the screen, rolls, nothing there. Ian open for three, it looks good. Comes up a little bit short. Aiden coming to be a, a wolf, nope. And Jake deflects the pass, gets the steal. Saves it to Ian who looks up to Aiden. Pass tip, gone back to MCAC. They look to set things back up. Double team, we're gonna get another, oh, we're gonna get a travel. I guess it's all in how you see it. Might have been some contact there, Coach. Might have been some coming. Well, he traveled into the contact. There so you Order of operation. There you go. That's a good explanation. There's a nice roll. Jacob White finds his uh, second mid-range shot. Same spot. I think he might want to keep going right to that. Yeah. Letting the refs know he's paying attention. Here's a floater on its way, it's good. And uh, all six points by one player so far. Not surprised, so we can limit him. Sh 
should be a faith win. But he's a good player. Now Jake looks to drive. Goes off his foot, and it's a turnover. Ian with the hustle play. Let's see if he can make a play. Not in time. Miss. Nobody there for the rebound. They get an easy put back. Nobody else got down to help him. Yeah. Got a hustle back on defense. Ian spinning. No. Cougar's got a nice look. He's a little off. He hasn't found his rhythm yet. It's a good look, though. So 8-5 MCAC. 2.38 to play in first quarter. They attack middle and throw a wild shot. Cougar with a defensive rebound and will get fouled. And I believe that one will be either the third or fourth. I don't know yet. But not in bonus yet. to drive, gets it kind of taken, but not there. Titus with the offensive rebound off of Jake's three try. They look to reverse it. Ian tries to drive. He's going to get fouled. And I believe that's for sure going to be their team fourth. They're asking if it's five. Hands up for five, so it'll be two free throws coming for Ian. Falcons, I believe, were five of six from the line yesterday. We like to see those free throws go in. It's, it's good. Second one's good. Looks like we had both Titus and Ian in a position to make a play there. And somehow, I think that's on Titus, number two. No, I did not see who they called that. Titus uh, goes out for Gage. So I think that was Titus' second foul now. So he'll have to come out and sit. Free throw off the mark. Gage just comes in, gets the rebound, controls it. And back the other way we come. Jake will try a corner three. It looks good. It just comes off. And uh, that's something I think will turn as the game goes. Absolutely. Yep. Jake's got a nice look. Oh. Drive and kick to Cougar. He doesn't see what he wants, so Gage will look to make a play. Ian looks to drive. Finds Aiden. He gets it to Gage. Gage is going to try to go all the way around. He nice and makes a nice move and give him two plus a chance for a free throw to tie this game up at 10. 55 seconds left here in the first quarter. And the Falcons, will, any foul the rest of the way, they'll be at the line. Off the mark, but he chases down the rebound, and nope. MCAC pushing it up. Falcons knock it off the leg, and they're going to get their ball there. Good defense by Ian Garno. Five years in varsity, I think that experience shows. He, he learns a trick or two. Yeah. Quick hands. Yeah, right. 
Falcons yesterday were holding late in possessions and I think we're gonna see it again. We're gonna hold for one shot here. Now down to 13 seconds. Cougar to drive. And he's gonna get called for the charge. A little early too, it's still seven and a half seconds, so MCAC got a chance to uh, tack on to their one point lead. Wow, so Aiden Huddleston called for the foul. We're gonna get a three, it's short, but a wide open rebound leaves an easy bucket. No Falcon to be found. 12-9 after first quarter. Wow. They're correcting the fouls now. Taking it off Aiden and giving it back to Cougar. Okay. I was going to say, I don't... <laughs> he wasn't in the ball in the neighborhood. I think that there were a lot of good looks at the three for us that didn't fall. I think as the game goes on, it's gonna yeah. we're gonna start to see some of those fall. Yeah, hopefully that changes. I think Jake missed three, three attempts. Cougar missed at least two. Me Ian two, missed yeah. one. And uh, down by three, not a big deal. So so far, haven't seen uh, too much uh, getting getting home to the basket. They've driven, maybe maybe they get down to the elbow and then they kick out. So they're definitely keeping us out of the lane, making us a perimeter team. But Jake had a nice couple mid-range shots in that quarter. Cage made a nice Cage. move there to get great. He's our one. Came in, came in right away, got a rebound, and uh, down for a bucket and a free throw. Yeah. Looks like Falcons are going to get the ball coming out of the uh, timeout, period timeout. Let's go, Jake. Come on, Big Zero. Let's go, white boy. Immediately going to Gage in the post. Gage spins, gonna try a shot, bank, nope. Not there, two Falcons there. Aiden knocks it out and gets it to Ian who looks to take a shot, but he's hit over the arm. Yeah, they'll try Gage again, he makes a nice move. Gets his offensive rebound, puts it in. Good effort by Gage. So give him an offensive rebound and a basket on that one. Jake with the anticipation gets a nice steal and I think he was going to show us a dunk and then but he did the right thing he made the basket he got lucky there missed that shot a lot of contact on that no good, good defense good wolf cougar looks to push he's got no numbers and MCAC able to get the steal but Gage with a nice steal might want to just get it settled back down good good job Good effort from Gage. Ian with a nice drive. Just off the mark. That's his first real attack to the basket. Yesterday he was living out in that. They look to attack middle. Wing three on its way and it's good. CAC's back up to 15 to 13. We got ourselves a game. Cougar looking to get it back to Gage. Gage likes his matchup. I'm not sure why they got to travel when he's dribbling, but they still decided to call him. He established dribble first. And you can take as many steps in between those dribbles as long as it's a continuous motion. High school sports, I don't always understand them. Now we're gonna get a foul on MCAC and it's gonna be Falcon ball. They're, I believe that's the first called foul of this uh, quarter. Well, I gotta tell you, these refs do know how to use the whistle. Yep. Not a bad thing Keep the players under control, hopefully. Kick out 
to Aiden, not there. Gage looking to push it again. Nice shot from Gage. Gage is having himself an impact on this game early on in the second quarter. Nice lift. He'll tie it up at 15. MCAC looks to attack. Spin move on its way. Too strong. Aiden Huddleston with the defensive rebound. He got hit in the head on the way. But the refs know how to use their whistles. <laughs> Cougar to drive. And going to be on the ground. We've seen Cougar get travel calls and all sorts of things. Yep. A well-deserved rest. I hope that they continue to have them come in and, and run like that. That's good energy. Falcons looked a little bit stagnant. We got Jake wide open in the corner. He'll throw to Ian. And we're going to... We're going to get a timeout from Faith. A few of us fans kind of looked at that like over and back. So we got a little bit excitable there for a moment. But... Well, he should have been able to go across and catch the ball. Maybe that would have... If he, yeah, if he doesn't even try to touch that. Stay away from that line. And uh, Cougar didn't see it, but Jake was standing right over in the corner with nobody even near him. Probably getting a high five from Casey Wilson down there. In the corner. to Titus, back out to Ian, who will try a three, short, looked good, and ball never touched Aiden, so it was either a foul or out on MCAC, no foul called, maybe that's the left ref's way of not calling a foul, I don't know. Getting the possession right, but not calling, I guess. Jump Mid-range shot on its way, it's good. Jake will try the other side for a mid-range. Off the mark. Aiden with the good hustle. Not able to get it. And a good block by Ian. Touched last by Titus. But I think Ian's seen this thing a time or two to know where he's going to end up shooting that ball. So now a critical chance for Faith with, their, with the best player on the bench. and see what they're able to do. Corner three on its way, looks short, and going to go Falcons ball. Jake gets a nice corner look. Still not quite found his rhythm. Good steal by Aiden, who looks up to Cougar, who runs it down, and he's going to make the layup. Nice hustle, guys. Good job, Faith. We're... Yes. Nice trap. Oh, they're going to get it to the corner. Titus goes for the steal. He's going to get his third foul, I believe. And that will immediately allow Gage to get himself right back in the game. It's going to be on the ground. I think it's only going to be the team's second. Oh, wow. Some mishandling from both teams on that one, and possession stays MCAC. Nice tip by Gage. 
Aiden able to control it and back to Gage and back to Ian. So once again, Gage giving us some really good minutes. Cougar in rhythm for three. Oh, it was good. Yeah. Not yet. It's good defense. If you're a believer of percentages, you like your odds for the rest of this game. Yeah. Ian with a strong take down the middle. And the, and the Falcons take the lead, 19-17. And mishandled pass. Falcons got a four on two if they can realize it. Jake will take it the whole way. Oh, he tries the English. And it's not quite off. But, hey, free throws are another good way to get in rhythm. And it's money, cash money. Nothing but nylon. And that second one's good. Biggest Falcon lead, four. MCAC pushes it down. Now they got a corner trap. They're gonna get a blocking foul. That Push the player out of bounds. Just moving those feet, Cougar. That'll be his That's second. All right. That's all right. Keep it up. Keep it up. Only 25 open right there. You got to know where he's at. I think we're going to get a jump ball. Aiden able to get his hand in it. It's going to stay here, MCAC ball. Good pressure by the Falcons. Did a really clever job there, keeping his left hand high and out of the way so the referee could not call a foul. They attack middle. We got three Falcons there. They'll kick to the corner for a three, and it's good. So they, their threes are falling so far. Ours aren't. But still got a lot of game to go. 21-20 Falcon lead. Jake looks to drive, going all the way. Off the heel, gets his rebound, passes it back out to Gage. Gage will try to go all the way, get some contact, and give him two free throws. It's coming up. Once again, Gage Gulash coming off the bench, giving us really good energy, good minutes. Strong showing. And the first one's good. Taking that charity stripe and treating it like it actually matters. That's that's good. Second one does not draw any iron. 22-20 Falcons, minute 36 left. Try to force a pass down, but too many Falcons there. And Ian wisely brings it up the court. Saw Aiden, but most likely if he would have forced the pass down, it would have been a turnover. Gage looks to drive, gets tripped again. And uh, once again, Gage is just disrupting this defense. And I believe we're in the bonus now, so we're going to see another two free throws from Gage. And first one's good. And the second one's a bank. Yeah. He didn't want to be short like the last time, so... Here comes a good trap. Now they got it to the corner. Jake right up on their best player. 
He looks to make a crazy spin shot, and it's no good. Offensive rebound comes down CAC. They'll find it deep. Oh! Who do they call it? They're going to... Well, I think they're calling it on Ian. Ian, yeah, they're calling it on Ian. I think... Yeah. It's the body language of the play. He was clean in our vantage, but... Ian's getting some confirmation from the referee right now. And he's saying he leaned in with the elbow. And then he's going to lean in and he's going to say, Ball don't lie. <laughs> Second one no good. Ladies with the board. Jake, nice move, finds a shot he likes, and it's good. And the Falcons open up their biggest lead today, 26 to 20. Oh, tip. Yes. And another tip. Not have Pressure starting to have some impact. Corner three, they've been making these. Not that time, Gage with a nice, another big rebound. He'll squirt it out, it won't go. We foul them, and they're going to get two free throws. With five and a half seconds left to go, he just before up, half. He picks up another one. Oh, wow. Hits it in Boy, it looked like Gage had the rebound there, but was not able to get it to a Falcon. And that free throw is good. Going to get a substitution here for the MCAC, and... I don't know if he's got any foul trouble on that side. Second one, no good. Offensive rebound. They got a chance to get another basket here before half. And they do, right at halftime. Very unfortunate. That's both quarters where Falcons have an opportunity to make it. Out of the basket. Yeah. So. But they did play for the lead, and they do lead at half, 26 to 23. So, so sit tight, don't go anywhere, and maybe pop some popcorn, get ready, because we're gonna have ourselves a good second half. They got a six-point swing, right? They were down by three in the first. Is that right? They were down 12 to nine after the first. They found some offensive rhythm. Gage is a great right spot off the bench. Yep. Really gave them good energy and got things flowing. I, I hope uh, we see him play a yep. good amount as long as his energy's there and he continues to play well. But yeah. 17-11 that second quarter. Good minutes from Gage. Very impact. Everybody else, he, uh, Ian got a second one. Yeah. I think Cougar has two as well. Oh, yeah. Because he had the charge and then he had the, the, the leg hip, put the little, little scooch push up, push outside. Oh, yeah. That's. Uh, Good moves. Yeah. You know, he's getting you rebounds down here. Some yeah. offense. Three yeah. Times. Can you take up a warm up at three lane? Maybe nope. this is the end to hit the threes then. Could be. I don't think we hit a three that entire first half. I'm pretty sure we didn't. Jake, play the percentages. 
Those threes are going to start falling second half. But your mid-range looks good too. I like a team playing with that one. Yeah, he's not going to play. No, he won't won't stop. He doesn't stop. He doesn't struggle with confidence? No, Jacob doesn't struggle with confidence. (laughs) Okay. He's open, he's going to shoot it. Second half, just about to start. Refs all checking things, getting it all clear. Falcons will get the ball. Now coming right to your left. Right to your left on your radio down. That's right. Ian Garno with a great assist oh, opportunity, but yeah, Gage with the yeah. offensive rebound put back. Gage Goulash continuing to have a strong day. Falcons apply some pressure. And Gage with an emphatic, but oh, it's gonna be a travel first. Falcons ball. Gage driving, takes a shot, it's good. Man, he is dialed in tonight. This is something to see, this is fun. And their best player hits a shot. I say get that ball back to Gage. Gage drives immediately, gets to the same spot, a little bit off. And a bounce pass coming up the other way. But nothing there. Attack middle. No, it gets a wild shot, but unfortunately I think, was that Jake? That'll be his second. Two free throws on the way. And first one's good. Titus substitutes back in for Gage, or no, excuse me. Yeah, for Gage. And uh, switches places with Jake. I think Jake thought that many was coming out, but he stays. Second one, good. Cuts that Falcon lead down to 30 to 27. Six and a half to go here in the third quarter. Oh, a little bit of a lazy pass by Cougar. And leads to an easy basket. Cuts. Okay. It wasn't a pass then? No, it wasn't. It, 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 yeah, he just kind of lost control against his body. Gotcha. Aiden will try a three. That's way off. Ian saves it. Bounces off MCAC and stays. 
Good play by That's a senior move. Boy, it's like a hot potato, just went right through his hands. Bad pass, or? It was a strange bounce pass, but yet it was to his hands. I think he was looking at the rim before he got the ball. Like a football player who goes to make that move before he actually secures the catch. MCAC gets the lead. Jake will drive, nowhere to go. He can't find Ian, who hits yeah. the first Falcon three of the night and then reclaim a two point lead. Let's get a stop here. They go quickly to the middle. Titus to contest, shot off the mark. Ian defensive rebound. We are in a building where there are eight different courts. So if you hear whistles, it's not necessarily our game. Ian looks to drive, not there. Jake, corner three. It's good. Back-to-back -back Falcon threes extended back up to five. Big buckets. Some quick ball movement. But doesn't catch that last pass clean. Now it's wing three on its way. No good. Jacob White with the defensive rebound. Surveys, doesn't see anything, so he's going to hold it up. Ian looks to attack. Goes to the corner. Finds Jake at the wing. And give him yeah. another three. Woo! Is that three and threes in a row? Yeah, there's three threes in a row. So, could not find the three to fall in the first half. We find three here in the third quarter. I think I said it. You know, Percentages, right? You know, you know Coach Smith... You you're right out with those percentages. <laughs> a good shooter, it's, it's going to turn with a good shooter. Yeah. I think it goes zero percent. So Ian got the first one, and then Jacob White back to back threes. That Jacob White, man, he's a player. I think he's he likes playing basketball. He's seen a basketball. He yeah. Seen a basketball. I, think, I think it might run in the family or something. Skip the generation. Oh, okay. Skipped over a generation. Oh. By eight, four to go in the third. And this is our biggest lead of the game at eight. So the Falcons answer the MCAC's little 6 0 run with an 8 0 run of their own. Or no, a 9 0 run, excuse me. Midway here, third quarter. A little bit of pressure. I think the pressure has been speeding them up, which has worked out well. And Jake's going to get another steal. He stays with it. It's going to be a jump ball. Stays MCAC ball, but good pressure by the Falcons. Let's keep that up. Nice job, Jake. Nice hustle. Shot zero. They look to go middle. He's gonna attack, he's short. Gage there to get the block. They look to get it inside. And this time Gage is gonna get called for his first foul. He actually didn't leave his feet, but I think he uh, reached his hand forward. Yep. <laughs> that is only Gage's first foul. And uh, first one rattles in and out. Shot off. We're going to get another one. I think Titus jumped a little early there. Yeah. So 
Third free throw on the way is good. That'll cost him a point. 39-32. He's gonna let it oh. Looking to get it into Gage again. Pass makes it through, he's got a nice shot. Shot, air ball. And quick ball movement the other way. We're gonna get another gauge foul. Two more free throws coming up. And uh, I, I believe um, he may have landed on uh, the other player's leg there. That's why he's in a little bit of pain. First one off. Cougar gets a nice rest, checks back in for Gage. It's only his second. I'm Yep. Second one no good. Where who's gonna get that rebound? Aiden Huddleston. He passes it. I thought that was the tightest. I thought that was going out of bounds. Yeah. Thankfully, Cougar was right there. Ian looks to drive. He'll try a four Too shot short. off of Cougar's head and out of bounds. A little sloppy on that one. Got to value the possessions. And Falcons see the inbound come in. No, but they return the favor by forcing a bad pass. And uh, necessary. sometimes it's just better to slowly get it back up the court, set up your offense and move. Enjoy the steal. Yeah. So pressure comes. They split it. They're going to get it to the weak side. He's going to get a shot. It's no good. Titus with the rebound. And back we come. Let's see if we can get some offense going again. Jacob looks in, doesn't see what he wants. Now he looks in again. Still doesn't see what he wants. Gives it off to Ian. Titus looks for Ian. He cuts. Oh, it was there, late. Oh, and Aiden already on his way. Yeah. Didn't expect the pass, but he uh, adjusted. Like, look what I found. I've seen travels called over plays like that, Coach. What do you, what do you think? You think we might have got away with one there? No, I think he got it. Okay. Ian, great defense. Titus battling, doesn't get the rebound. Off of MCAC, Falcons ball. Biggest lead, let's keep pushing it. Let's get it to double digits. Cougar looks to drive, not there. Ian looks to drive, not there. Now Cougar gets a good look for three, and it is cash money. The threes are falling here in the third quarter, pushing us up to 12. MCAC will try to match. They don't off of Titus, but it comes to Cougar clean for a rebound. And Falcons bring it up. Smart for a minute and a half. Smart for a minute and a half. Yep. Cougar. Looks to drive, doesn't like what he sees, back out to Ian. Aiden tries to drive, it's picked off, and we're gonna have an easy layup the other way. I think take care of the basketball, offensively, and you're playing good defense, should, should be able to win. Ian, strong move, unable to finish. Corner three, nope, he'll fake it. 25 trying to drive, we're gonna get a charge the other way. We're gonna get an elbow on 25, and it's gonna be Falcon's ball. He is sad, not happening. Nice job, Cougar, nice job, Cougar. 
And the Falcons will try to hold for one. We'll see how they do. Last time they went a little too early and it ended up being an uh, opportunity that led. Uh, did they score in the first quarter? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe they did. Oh, yeah, they had the miss, the yeah. missed shot and then the three. Yeah. Or uh, extra. Uh, layup. Yeah, layup. And then it was the missed free throw right in the second quarter that they got a rebound and another basket. Oh, yeah. So both quarters have not ended well for us. But we believe in redemption. Jake will try a three. It's no good. Aiden there to rebound it. No shot. Well, not allowing them an opportunity to score is just as good. We would have liked the basket, but we'll take a 10-point lead going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, and the ball. And we'll get possession. Damn. So, Coach, after three quarters, you like it where we're sitting going into the fourth? I do, but they certainly have to uh, protect that basket. Nothing yeah. Silly. I think uh, I think Gage did a nice job of uh, enforcing in the paint. It makes them think twice for a layup. Yep. And I, I feel like the pressure has gotten them a little off their rhythm. They, yep. Even when they get the passes where they should... They're not handling the catch clean, which isn't allowing them to finish or make a, an easier play. So when we're set up on our half-court defense, we're doing well, which is exactly what you're saying. You don't turn the ball over, they're not getting an easy basket the other way. Uh, so good. I like, our, I like our chances when we play both half-courts. I think that, that leads us to a victory. Yeah. Yeah. Keep attacking that hoop. 18 to 11 that last quarter. Tip pass. Ian able to get it. Save it to Cougar. Doesn't handle it cleanly, but he gets it over to Jake. Off the heel. Titus with his first offensive rebound. No doubt. Ian will try a three, it's short. Jake gets bumped, nothing there. Overthrown pass, Ian sees it. Aiden controls it, gets it to Titus, who passes it over to Cougar. He'll get a nice look at three, and you give Cougar, you give Cougar Dodson that much time, good things are bound to happen. Yeah, oh wow. We're gonna get a trip on Titus, that's gonna be his fourth, and or no, that's on Cougar, I'm sorry. Wrong player. So that'll be Cougar's third. So both Cougar and uh, Titus with three fouls. I think I'm, I don't know, is that four and Cougar? Three. I mean, to you, he had three. Al, is that three on him? What? Is that three on Cougar? Yeah. But they put eight, I think he's got four. No, he's got two. Eight? So we got three. We're gonna get a. Ian reaches in there and gets that ball. He finds Aiden on the other side. It's gonna be a layup, and it's good. 15 point Falcon lead. Aiden is very fast getting down that ball. That's why we call him Hustle Huddleston. At least I do. Three on its way, no good. Ian with a senior rebound says, I'll, I'll take that. Controls it wisely, gets it to a teammate, and now we can slowly come up the court. No need to rush here on offense. Find your shot, find a good, good play for you. Enjoying a nice lead. Gage that feels the very pressure. Good, very good kick back out. Yep. Jacob White, nice mid-range. Coach, I think they're getting comfortable out here. Give him a 17-point lead. Jake with a steal and a dunk. Oh. And a 19-point Falcons lead. And, and, you, and that strong layup caused the team to take a timeout. <laughs> I think that was a dunk attempt, Coach. <laughs> well, I give him credit for not grabbing the rim because that would have called this, the ball to bounce out. <laughs> Is that to this game that the, uh, the thought was there? Let's, Yes, and it's funny because on that basket right there to the left of your screen, 
is where his older brother got his very first dunk here on this court. So, oh! So there's some history there with the White oh, Brothers. Oh, wow. Nevertheless, a great steal and a great finish. Uh, wow. Good, good defense. Good defense leading to easy offense. That's fun to see. So just under six minutes left to go, fourth quarter. Falcons are definitely believing. I will remind people watching, they, these same Falcons were in a seventh and eighth place game. They were enjoying a 19 point lead. They watched the entire lead get dissolved down to a tie. They were, they were able to get the victory, but I'm telling you what, that game almost slipped away. So never fall asleep. Never fall asleep on a team. There's still enough time. But I think if they keep their head in the game and they keep playing with the right intensity, they're going to pull this off. Corner three, no good. Titus with the chance for a rebound out there. And that is what their best player can do. Impose his strength. Gets the offense to rebound and put back. Looks, and Gage doesn't see a, a swipe here. Jake gonna go for the block, doesn't get it. And just like that, we're down to 15. Take care of the basketball, Falcons. We can do it. Titus looks to disrupt things at the middle. Jake looks to take his mid-range shot. It's on its way. And he is feeling it. Jacob White with a big basket there. Extending it back to 17. That allows us to get the defense set like we want. Long three on its way, it's good. And uh, 55, 41, 442. Jake was gonna get this playing a little bit of keep away. Allowing MCAC to kind of tire themselves out. And there is no shot clock. We're going to get a foul. It's like a frustration foul coming from MCAC on the play. And MCAC wants a timeout to talk things over. They are on a 7-2 run right now since that last timeout. Do you want to do any uh, improvisation as to what the refs might be saying right now? Uh, this time I'm not sure. I think, I think they're talking about how good the Falcons are playing. And how that uh, number three is coming in and taking charge. Or they're asking what they want on their pizza. Yeah. Tell you just to say, I got three fouls, ref. I'll go easy on you, okay? Yeah, don't. I, I want to finish this game <laughs> out. I'm a senior. It's my last year. So, coach calls the timeout to switch man to man. This should give a Falcon a pretty good opportunity for a basket. Titus looks to drive. Gets it over to Jake. Jake in to, to Gage, back out to Titus. Who will try to drive? No, it's not there. He'll find Ian. A lot of contact, no calls yet. More contact. You've got to kind of watch out for when you get a dribble and you go to reverse it. That's where a double team surprise comes and they get a pick and go the other way. Jake going to get arm barred. That'll be a foul. Falcons wisely just running time off the clock. 
And uh, we're not in the bonus yet. I think next foul, they should be at the free throw line. Ian's able to get it. Gets it to Titus, who gets it to Jake. Sets the screen, Jake looks to drive. And gets it back to Ian, who looks to drive. He goes all the way, it's off the mark. No foul called, but uh, we got an injured player right here. Not sure if they're gonna call timeout. Corner three on its way, no good. Ian with the rebound. I, I don't know why they don't stop the game when we have an injured player. And they finally recognize it. I think our team called the timeout for the other player. Three refs here, none of them seeing that there's an injured player. It's kind of disturbing. But uh, he will come out of the game. It looks looks to be all right. We're going to have Falcon to check in, David McNabb. Not sure who he's coming in for. And, uh, I'm not here. I'm not here. <laughs> So it looks like the team fouls is not what I thought it was. We're nowhere near the bonus yet. Um, I believe he's had three for Faith and two for MCAC. So they still have a long way to go to put us in. Uh, so Jake gets it. We're back into man-to-man -man still. He goes for the steal. He's going to get a jump ball, and it's going to go back MCAC ball. Got to know that they're going to be aggressive. They're going to either get the ball or foul you. So they look to attack. They're going to get a corner look. Nope, not there. Try to reverse it. Still nobody there. Gage goes for a big block. It's not there. The three's knocked down. And we are down to an 11 point game. There's still two and a half minutes. But uh, it's all about ball control. And Gage looks to drive, gets it to David McNabb who throws it back out to Cougar. Cougar looks to drive. And we're gonna get a foul on the floor. I think that's only the third team foul. They were discussing fouls and they went, they were communicating. So that should be the third team foul. Jake gets fouled, takes the shot. I don't know if that's going to be considered a shooting foul or not, but that should be the last freebie. No continuation on that. No. Nope. Ian gets it. He'll get fouled. Now that, no matter how you look at it, he's going to line for two. Falcons should be shooting free throws from here on out. So free throws can win or lose games, coach. <laughs> You've seen that before. I have. It's nice to see that go in. Those are what leads to wins. You gotta score when the clock's out running. Yes. That's a good try over there. And he did both times. Nice job, Ian. 13 point Falcon lead. MCAC looks to go quick. Jake with a good anticipation gets the ball. He'll throw it up to Cougar. And Cougar gets the ball stolen. Sorry, couldn't see that. Cougar had the ball stolen, but the ball went out of bounds first. So Falcons, yeah. I'd like to see, even though he was open, I'd like to see Jake kind of hang on to that one. Cougar will try a three. It's money! I think that's kind of like a nail going into a coffin. Yeah, it's gonna be tough for Thunder 2 to go. And uh, Gage is not gonna not be Gage, he's gonna swat at it, so. Two free throws on their way.
First one's good. And the second one's good. We're gonna get a timeout before the inbound. And I don't know if it's a full or if it's a half yet. It's a full. They a 38. Falcons enjoying a 14 point lead. Should they hold on like we expect them to, they'll be playing for first place tomorrow, 6-15, which I'm sure we will be broadcasting that game as well. So we're going to get a, uh, a full court press and a quick foul. Cougar will be shooting two free throws. Free throws feel so good. And he puts the second one through. Yeah. An uncharacteristic wide open. And you're gonna get Gage on another foul and an and one opportunity. Not what you're looking to do when you're in the lead like this. And they get a chance for a three point play. And it's way off, but David jumps a little early, gets his rebound. They're gonna foul Ian. I don't know if he got fouled two or three times on that. Another free throw, good. Nice job on the free throws tonight. And David McNabb cannot hold. It's going to be a, a, uh, uh, a lane violation. Got a little bit premature on that. Three on its way. It's short. Ian gets the rebound. And he'll get fouled. up short on the first. If 20 had a brother, maybe he'd look <laughs> like... I think, I think 20 does have a brother. Yeah. He's going to try a three. No good. David tips it off a couple guys. We're going to try another three because... That's what you have to do. Well, he's going to drive and he's going to score. So they get a timeout. That cuts it down to 13, 63 to 50, 56 seconds left to go. 
I was just watching some uh, ESPN highlights, and there was an NBA team, or no, a college team, that let a 10-point lead dissolve in less than 25 seconds. I'm pretty sure a year ago, Michigan State allowed someone in. Is that the game? No, this was, oh. this was just yesterday. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was uh, a Texas A&M, I believe. They're down uh, 69 to 59. Yeah, they got, they got a smart. strong trapping defense. Got steals off of the inbounds and. Um, they can't let up at this point. That's right. Jacob White gets the ball, and he's coming up clean. To get it to Gage, he's looking to go quick. He, he yeah. wisely puts it in. Sorry about the camera angle there, but he did a nice layup. Nice drive and a layup. Yeah. Kick out three on its way. It's good. Cuts it to 12. Gage, I'm not sure why he held on to it so long there. Had Jake and Ian wide open. and If it's there, you just get it in, right? Plus, he saw something he didn't like behind him, but uh, yeah. Believe it or not, I, I don't think I don't think Jake's been at the line tonight. This might be uh, an and one. Uh, he had he had two earlier. Oh, he had, he two. had two earlier. Yeah, so I think he's three for four right now. Oh, oh, oh. Or no, sorry, he was three for three. That's four. okay. There you go. I was like. Now it makes sense. Hey, the bank's still open late on a Friday night. Gage gets it into Ian. Ian comes up the court. Down to 20 seconds. He'll just take a layup. Why not? No good. David with the rebound. Refs are not looking to blow a whistle unless they absolutely have to. And I think they're going to dribble it out. And that should do it. Give the Falcons a 12-point win. All right. Yeah. Friday night under the lights. Falcons going for the first place on the line. Yeah, first place for D3. Good for them. Exciting next game. Hey, they you can only hundred. play the games with the bracket you're in. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah, nothing so. against it. Yeah, they, uh, they get some hard work. Good for them. Yeah. So we will be back, not sure if it's the same four, but we will be back 6.15, maybe a little ahead of that, just so you get some pre-coverage. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching a good Falcons win. We'll see you back tomorrow night.